First Division football on a misty January afternoon comes from Goodison Park, where Everton are playing Stoke City. People are saying these days that there are a lot of teams around who are too good for relegation. Well, here are two of them, both too uncomfortably near the bottom of the table for their fans, and so both equally anxious to take the points from this match. Well, John Marsh passed a fitness test this morning, and so he's able to play at two, but Jeff Hurst has had a nasty bout of flu, so he can't play, and with Jeff Hurst out, Jimmy Robertson gets a chance in the number seven. Very anxious, he says, that the referee should not take the limelight. Here's Robertson for Stoke. They're kicking from left to right in the dark shorts. Bernard to take the throw. Buckley and Bernard again. Harper, and he's got in a shot. It's the sort of opportunism that is warming the Goodison fans to this new boy from Scotland. Just show him the goal. Harper to Bernard. And good running by Kendall and a good pass for him. And that's another good ball. Now Kendall. And it's come through to Belfick. And he can't turn it back, or can he? Caught on his head, and just got away. I think it was Mahoney who cleared it in the end. Tommy Wright just rolling it for John Hurst. Good, powerful header, turned in again by Bernard. Headed away by Smith, and left foot first time back by Bernard. Hurst. Belfit's header, Styles. Goalkeeper coming, but he wasn't trusted by Styles by Smith. And that was an awkward bouncing ball from Connolly, which Farmer dealt with very competently. Back header by Harper, Belfit, Bernard, Kendall. That's Easton for Stoke. Richie has lost it. Styles. Bang forward by Kenyon. And the offside flag goes up, but players waved on. Buckley. Three men in the middle and two men lurking just outside the box. Buckley still with a long way to go. And he's got an indirect free kick just inside the box for obstruction. So these last few seconds of this half could be a bit interesting, but Everton will have to get a move on because we haven't seen a trainer. Yes, just one stoppage, in fact, when Farmer had to have treatment. So we'll have a little tiny bit added on. Question is, can Everton take any advantage in it? Up goes Belfit's head. Kenyon is there too but it's blasted away, but the final outcome is no goals. They go in at half-time, Everton nil, Stoke City nil. So it's Everton who kick off, with everything still to play for in this second half, but on a horses-for-courses principle, this really ought to be Everton's game. This is the tenth season that uh, Stoke have been here since they were promoted in 63. Elfitt, Bernard... It was very tightly marked by Mahoney. Did well to get it out at all. Right, good ball by Wright for Buckley. Three men waiting for a cross. And he delayed it just a fraction too long. Got a lot of nerve and confidence, this boy. Belfit. And a good ball through for Harper. Harper shot only half saved by Farmer, but that time they sprang the offside trap. Connolly's throw to Bernard. Hurst forward to Kendall, Bernard again, and now Connolly. Fluent football by Everton and a good save by Farmer. 
Kendall. Right. Into Buckley's path. Penalty has been given. Mr Thomas, not a moment's thought when he saw Buckley go tumbling from that challenge by Skeels. But it was a really lovely pass from Tommy Wright. Mike Bernard to take the kick against his old team and Richie has gone up and had a word with Farmer. Richie, of course, will know all about Bernard and his place kicks, presumably. And the goalkeeper has saved it, but he moved, surely. Surely he moved. Referee has given the corner. Well, Richie's advice must have meant something to Farmer. Connolly with the corner. There's a header by Kenyon, and it's gone out for a goal. Oh, Farmer credit for a very athletic leap. But it did look as though he'd taken a pace to his right, which was carrying him in the proper direction. And here's one for Belfit. Harper! And in by Buckley! Mick Buckley's first goal of the season. There's the ball, headed on by Belfit, touched probably by Harper, and plonked in the net joyfully by Buckley. 1-0 then for Everton. And Everton fans will very probably feel that that's only rough justice. Foul given against Kenyon. And we're now just 11 minutes into this second half. Conroy goes down. Marsh turning it in. at Smith up there. And Lawson has it. Buckley shot! There really isn't very much of this boy, but he hammers the ball when he does hit it. And Kenyon's clearance doesn't really connect. Easton. And that's a good header. Richie trying to lay it on for Robertson. Richie. Here's one for Greenoff. Richie going back to meet a quick cross. Pulled back for Conroy. And that was a very lucky one for Mahoney. And a good save by Lawson. Hurst to take the free kick. Smith's header. Bernard. Harper was going in on it. Here's Connolly! So Dennis Smith's foul on Harper, well and truly punished by Hurst's free kick. Header out, but put back in now, well by Bernard. Harper couldn't get it, but Connolly on the volley with his left foot, getting his fifth goal of the season. And now, eight minutes remaining, and Everton leading by two goals to nil. Ah. Buckley giving it back to him. Tommy Wright. Buckley. Pedic. Conroy. And that's a good ball through the middle for Ritchie, just a bit too hard. Lawson out to pick up. Terry Conroy, such a power in this Stoke side, and he's had very little scope today from Tommy Wright. 
Robertson's cross and a good header by Ritchie. That's as close as Stoke have come. Ball hadn't come out of the area. But the time that it takes to play it again is in Everton's favour rather than Stokes. Eastham, half a minute to go, plus injury time. Tragic. Conroy fouled that time by Wright. And so a sad return to Merseyside for Gordon Banks. It was here that he played his last game before that tragic car accident of his. And now what? Coolly played away from a difficult situation by Everton. And we go into injury time. Bernard now. Two attackers, three attackers against three defenders. Connolly. Defenders coming back fast. Connolly's dummy. And he tried to sneak it in behind the goalkeeper. Put it in the side netting. No, the goalkeeper got a touch because a corner's been given. And it's going to be taken again, possibly because the ball wasn't inside the quadrant. Styles, Connolly, and that'll do, says the referee. Offside, free kick given. I thought he'd blown the final whistle, but it's a free kick for offside. I'd have known, we've had enough of them. Conroy Styles back to Lawson Lawson completing his 26th game in the Everton colours 26 goals against Pejic's through ball, Ritchie running on got a difficult job if he's going to make something of this he's been forced out of the area Easton This looks more promising, Richie. Good cover by Kenya. Robertson will not get a chance to take the corner because Mr. Thomas blows the final whistle and Everton continue their revival, having had a run of six successive defeats. They've now gone four games without being beaten and have taken six points from them. Their scorers today, Buckley the first and Connolly the second, and by and large, a victory that they merited. Stoke contributed to the entertainment, played well, Farmer will feel disappointed having made a penalty save, but on the day, I think Everton just about worthy of their two points. The final score then, Everton two, Stoke City nil.